Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and today we're doing upside down makeup. Um, I'm going in with the Kim Tai Ofra Cosmetics Wanderlush. Uh, it's just a moisturizer. It really helps even out my foundation and I just make sure I rub it in but use very little if you have oily skin like me. And then I use the Benefits Matte Professional. This is the gel and it's better for oily skin. If you have gel, just use it on your T-zone where you're oily. And then I went in with the CoverGirl Even Skin Tone Oil Free um, CC Cream. And this one's in Sheer Espresso. I also use Tarte's Shape Tape Enrich. And also blended it, that in with the um, Wet Beauty Blender. It looks so funny sped up. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm really tapping, but it looks like I'm just like smearing. Tap it, don't smear it. Okay, and this is the Master Fix um, Loose Powder by Maybelline. This stuff is good too. I use the same powder brush. Still, the foundation brushes are still too dense for me. And I really like that. Plus when I'm getting ready, I like to really just spread it out. I'm doing the eyebrows. That is the Maybelline Brow, I think, fix. I use too much of a lighter color. So I just kind of hurry up and did that one. Uh, this is the Urban Decay Original Prime Potion. Blend, blend, blend. I look so funny. Okay, and I set it with powder also. Um, I used the Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray and sprayed my brush. I do not use this on my face only because it makes my face too oily at the end of the day. Um, I'm using a Makeup Forever palette. I have no idea what color that is or what palette that is, but I'll link it down below. I know that's like a bright coral kind of color and I used a um, fan brush to fan it all out going in with like a shimmery that's like a light gold color and I'm just tapping it in I'm going to um, eventually blend it out but I like to set the colors down a serpentina palette by Kat Von D this is the best thing Ever. I'm using that orange shade. I'm I really should know these colors off the bat, but I don't. It's like an orangey gold shade, and I blended that in. Then I took the it's like a deep cerulean blue to me. And even though it's kind of bright, it is um I should not laugh at myself doing this. It is very, very, very uh wearable. It's more like a jewel tone blue and um, I think jewel tones are more for every day and every skin tone so that works out fine. Taking the Kajal eyeliner and tight lining my eyes. Both of these were used to tight line my eyes. <laughs> I'm doing the word blink. Um, <laughs> second go with lashes. I'm terrified of lashes. I just ordered Kim Tai's lashes, the Lionhearted, and I hope they apply better than um, these do. I think, what on earth did I do? I think I might have messed up when I tried to do the lashes. Yep, I know I did eyeliner. I, I always do like pre-eyeliner before the lashes, and then I'll go back in and do the lashes. I'm contouring with the shape tape now. It's a little bit easier. Always contour up, not down. So I'm literally pressing up. Curl them eyelashes. And now my eyelashes are usually curly anyway. So I don't curl them, which is kind of like a bad habit, but you know. Why am I whispering? Um, I am using, what is this? 
the volu voluminous butterfly sculpt mascara i cannot talk today but that is like the best mascara ever i am such a mascara freak it is ridiculous but that really works it grabs onto your lashes and you can fan them out however you want i'm using the uh, dream mousse blush it's like a wine blush but it's like a cream so i'm just really patting that in on the apples of my cheeks Now I'm using the NYX Illuminator in Beam. Um, I switched over recently to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit, and I think it's like in like a tannish, bronzy, awesome color. So next video, I'm going to definitely use that. This works, but it's hard to blend. So. I'm sitting here making all these cute faces, but I am struggling. So we'll get to see the glow kit in the next one. Okay, that is It Cosmetics um, Neutral Matte Liquid Lipstick. And it's not really matte. To me, it just feels like a lip gloss. So I recommend it. But you have to keep reapplying and sometimes it gets that weird little line. So you just kind of got to watch it. Uh, I like it, but I don't like it. Like there's a, there are pros and cons to that. But, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. Now I'm taking the loose gold um, glitter powder from the Serpentina palette and putting it on the... I really don't say tear duct. Tear duct, the inner corner of my eye. We'll say inner corner. That sounds pretty. I'm really getting in there good. <laughs> okay, now this is the infallible matte fix spray. When you spray that, make sure you step back because that will make your face a little too wet as you can see how much I'm like fanning myself. And that's pretty much it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my little commentary. Be sure to subscribe and like and go on my Facebook and like and go on my Instagram and like. It'll only take a second. Just go ahead and like it. You know you want to like it. Thanks again.